Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on IT Dot Tutorials. I'm Josef Botnar. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert values in the tables created in last video tutorials. So uh, I created uh, this um, school registration uh, database and also I created uh, the tables, uh, these three tables uh, attached to this uh, school registration uh, database, uh, namely country, county and uh, town tables. So uh, I'm, uh, I intend in this video tutorial uh, to populate with values these uh, three tables, uh, namely country, county, and uh, town. So let's do so. Um, I'm going to uh, release a new query Yeah, with a click on this uh, new query. This uh, query editor was launched uh, after. And uh, what is the first step? Uh, is to select uh, our uh, database, uh, with, uh, this, uh, which is this uh, uh, school registration. So I'm going to write this uh, keyword uh, use, the name uh, of my uh, database, which is uh, school, uh, school registration, is this one. Click on it, select it, and click on execute. Check here uh, the messages, uh, commands uh, completed successfully, that uh, means uh, our uh, database uh, is uh, already selected. If you go here in, uh, to this, uh, if you go over uh, this uh, drop-down list, you will see your uh, database uh, selected. All right, so uh, if you want to populate uh, your uh, tables uh, with values, uh, you have two options. Either you're going to use uh, the SQL uh, server statements, or you're going to use the graphical user interface, uh, you can do the same thing. So I'm going to populate the uh, country table with the values uh, using a transact SQL Server statement. And for another two tables, county and town, I'm going to use the graphical user interface. Yeah. So let's start with the first, with the country table. So uh, to insert the values into a table, you have to use this, key, uh, this keyword uh, insert. Yeah, and, uh, and after another keyword uh, into, the name of the table, which uh, is uh, country, yeah, and uh, another keyword of values. So uh, enter, because I like uh, to use another row to uh, insert a value into table. Yeah. I'm not going to continue this row. Uh, parentheses inside the parentheses um, single quote and uh, in, inside the single quote I'm going to write the name of the country so the name of the first uh, country is uh, United Kingdom okay comma enter another uh, parentheses uh, single code inside the single code uh, the next uh, country let it be uh, United uh, States so I'm going to insert uh, only uh, four, four or five countries because this is just the exemplification uh, yeah you can fill in uh, this table with as many as a country uh, do you want yeah if you create a project for uh, your file yeah all right so again a parenthesis single uh, code another uh, country could be um, let it be France yeah doesn't matter it's just uh, example comma another country uh, let it be Canada for example yeah uh, comma after uh, parentheses comma, parentheses, single code, another country, let it be Spain. Okay, I think it's enough. Uh, uh, you don't need to put a comma after uh, the last uh, value, yeah? So select uh, your uh, statement, click on execute, check here the message, if uh, you receive this message, uh, five rows affected, that means uh, your table uh, was uh, created uh, successfully. All right, uh, to uh, check your table, you uh, can use this uh, keyword uh, select asterisk uh, from the name of the table uh, country. Yeah. All right, select a statement. 
click execute and here is your uh, table your uh, country table so as you can see i didn't uh, use uh, to enter uh, the uh, primary key i used uh, to write uh, just uh, the name of the country so this table uh, country has two uh, columns uh, the country id which is uh, the primary key uh, if uh, you remember in the last video tutorial i told you uh, the primary key will be automatically entered by um, SQL Server Management uh, Studio, yeah, uh, because I used uh, this uh, uh, property identity, and uh, this will be incremented by one, as you can uh, uh, see, yeah. So, and the value is an integer uh, value, yeah? one, two, three, four, five. So this is the primary key, and the next uh, column is the name of the country, as yeah? United Kingdom, United States, France, uh, Canada, and uh, Spain. So I finished uh, to populate this table uh, country, it left to populate the next two tables, uh, county and uh, town. So uh, for uh, these two tables uh, to insert values, I'm going to use the graphical interface. All right, right click for the, uh, to do so and um, select uh, this uh, edit top uh, 200 rows. All right. So. Uh, if you go here uh, and expand this table uh, county uh, and the columns, you will see we have uh, here this uh, foreign key, uh, country ID, which uh, is the primary key of uh, this table uh, uh, country, as you can uh, see. Uh, we have used uh, this uh, foreign key uh, to uh, make the relationship uh, between these two tables, uh, county and country. Yeah, and. Uh, I'm going to use here to enter the primary key of uh, this table uh, uh, country yeah, to make the relationship between these two uh, tables, uh, county and country. So um, I'm going to uh, enter the counties for the first uh, country, which is United uh, Kingdom. So, all right, so I'm going to use uh, as uh, X simplification. Uh, the following uh, counties of uh, United Kingdom, uh, the first uh, it could be Twickenham, okay, the foreign key is uh, one, which uh, is the primary key of this uh, table uh, country, yeah, so one, okay, enter, I don't uh, bother about uh, this uh, uh, this column county county id which is the primary key for this table county because this is uh, added automatically by uh, sql server management uh, studio is incremented by uh, one all right so another uh, county of um, uk could be a uh, survey so again one i'm going to populate with the uh, four uh, counties of this country, UK. Another uh, county could be Sussex. Okay, again uh, one. Enter. And the last, uh, what I'm going to use in my example is uh, Essex. One. Okay. The next uh, country, the counties, uh, could be. Uh, United States, yeah. So I'm going to use uh, the following uh, counties, and there is named uh, uh, states I know, but I'm going to use this uh, name uh, county for them. Uh, so the one is uh, Florida, and uh, foreign keys too, yeah, because uh, for this uh, country table I used uh, for the United States uh, this uh, primary key, yeah, uh, two. Yeah. So I'm going to use here two. Another uh, state uh, of uh, United States is California. Again, uh, two. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to use uh, for the uh, next uh, country just uh, two counties for each uh, of uh, those countries. So for uh, United States, I use these uh, two counties, uh, which uh, is named uh, states uh, in the uh, United States, Florida and California. Uh, the next uh, country. Uh, is uh, France, so uh, 
I'm going to use the following uh, counties for uh, France. Uh, Lorraine. Okay, the primary key is uh, 3, uh, which is the foreign key for this table uh, county. Yeah, enter. Another uh, county for France is uh, Lower Normandy. Normandy. Okay. And the foreign key is 3. Okay, you can expand this column if you want. All right. The next country is uh, Canada. Okay, I'm going to use the following uh, counties uh, for uh, Canada. Uh, British Columbia. Columbia. Okay, the primary key for this country is uh, 4 which is going to be the foreign key for uh, this county table. Another uh, county is Quebec. And the foreign key is uh, 4. All right. And the last uh, country is uh, Spain with this uh, primary key 5, which is the foreign key for this table. So I'm going to use the following uh, counties uh, for uh, Spain, Granada. Five for foreign key and Madrid as well. Five for foreign keys. So all right, enter. I should uh, and um, if I go, uh, I launch another query and I'm going to write here a uh, select uh, asterisk uh, from. Uh, the name of table county select the statement and press execute here is the county table uh, the all the values of what I have uh, entered uh, a few seconds ago yeah uh, two kingdoms race Sussex uh, Essex for United Kingdom Florida and California for United States and so on for another uh, country I'm going to close this as well and here uh, I've got a uh, county table so I need a, a county uh, ID yeah to make the relationship between uh, town and uh, county uh, because uh, this table uh, town as you can see has the uh, county uh, primary key as foreign key so in this way I make the relationship between a town and a county so I'm going to select uh, this uh, table right click and uh, select this edit top uh, 200 rows and now I'm going to fill in this uh, table with the towns uh, which uh, belongs uh, to each uh, these uh, counties all right so uh, the first is uh, Twickenham okay so uh, for Twickenham uh, the uh, primary keys uh, one so I can use uh, the same uh, town because the town uh, has the same name I've, as uh, the county I'm going to copy this and uh, paste it in here and uh, the primary key is uh, one uh, good uh, enter I'm going to use just uh, one uh, town for uh, each uh, county and uh, for one uh, county I'm going to use uh, two towns just uh, for exemplification so uh, all right another uh, county Surrey for uh, Surrey I'm going to use uh, this uh, Isher town okay and the uh, foreign key is two yeah because the Surrey uh, has uh, as primary key there uh, too yeah, and uh, so on okay uh, here the next uh, one I'm going to write uh, uh, Brighton yeah uh, which uh, is part of this uh, county Sussex so the primary key is 3 and 
and four in uh, key will be as well uh, three. Okay, enter. <coughs> and uh, here for this uh, county Sussex, I'm going to use uh, two towns just for exemplification uh, to see how uh, this uh, primary county works as a uh, foreign uh, key for this table town. Yeah, so I'm going to write this uh, town Horsham. So I'm going to uh, use the same uh, foreign key three for these uh, two uh, towns, uh, Brighton or Horsham which uh, belongs uh, to this uh, county, uh, Sussex. All right, the next uh, county is Essex. And I'm going to write here Brentwood. The foreign key is uh, 4. Enter. I'm going to continue with the uh, <coughs> United States for these uh, two counties or states from United States, Florida and California. So the primary key is five and six. Okay, so I'm going to write Miami for the first uh, state. So the primary key is uh, five. And another uh, for California, uh, Los Angeles. And the primary key is uh, six and uh, as a foreign key here is uh, six, enter. Now, for the next uh, country, uh, counties uh, of the country is uh, France, so there is Lorraine and Lower Normandy. So for the first is match. The foreign key is uh, seven. And Cayenne. And the foreign uh, key is uh, eight. Okay, and the next is uh, British Columbia and Quebec. These two counties uh, belong to Canada, and the primary key is 9 and 10. Okay, so uh, for uh, British uh, Columbia, Vancouver. All right, the foreign key is uh, 9, and Montreal for the next one. Montreal. The foreign key is uh, 10. Enter. And then the next, uh, the last one is uh, Spain, which uh, with uh, these two counties, Granada and Madrid, primary key 11, 12. All right. So, Treveles, Treveles, uh, 11, enter, and Madrid. We have. Yeah, it's right. Good. Enter. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do release another query. Select asterisk uh, from town. Select your statement. Click execute. And here you go. This is the town's. Um, which uh, was populated uh, into this table uh, town. Okay, now uh, each uh, of these uh, tables uh, select asterisk from country. All right, select the statement and execute. All right, so all uh, these uh, three tables, country, county, and town, was populated with these uh, values, so country, United Kingdom, United States, France, Canada, and Spain. Uh, the next one uh, is, uh, and I need a query for this table county. Execute. All right. Down. County. Okay, so uh, all these uh, three tables, uh, country, as you can see, uh, the values was uh, filled in. Yeah, uh, county and uh, town, as you can see. So the next uh, video, in next video tutorials, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to populate those uh, 
drop down uh, list or combo box uh, with uh, values uh, from uh, these tables uh, country, county, and uh, town. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. See you next uh, video tutorials. Uh, bye bye.